Okay, so I want to show you this here. Now, this boneless chicken, I done cut some of this here off from here. It's going to come with a lot of yellow fat on it. I done cut most of the chicken up off. Now, this is what I'm using to take this off, off of here. Because I don't, you know, you don't want to see that on there. And I'm taking this here on off, this fat on off, I'm cutting it on off. So this is how you do this here, boneless chicken, because it always come with a lot of fat on it and you want to get rid of it. Okay, and the same way as you see me doing this right here, that chicken that I fixed, that uh, Hawaiian uh, fried chicken I fixed, you do it this way. You take off the fat. And you're going to take this boneless. This is good for that Hawaiian fried chicken. This boneless thigh meat is excellent. But it's going to have a lot of fat on it. So what you do, get your, get your scissors. Cut it on away. Cut it on off of here just like this. Okay? So I wanted to make sure that you see this here. How I'm doing it. Because I'm getting ready to... Uh, I'm going to fry my chicken on up. Okay, but like this. I don't want none of that on there. I'm going to fry this chicken on up. Cook the chicken first. Because this chicken is for my chicken croquette. All right. But I want to clean this on up and then I'm going to come back here. But I want to show you what I have. Okay. Hello, so this is my second one. This is gonna be chicken croquette. So I'm gonna already done cook this chicken up. I'm gonna let this chicken cool. I showed you how to cut the fat and everything off. What I did, I just placed it in some water, in a little water, about so much of water in here, and I just let it cook this way, okay? Because we're gonna season it up with everything that we have. Flour, we have flour, we have red pepper, we have cilantro, we have one egg, we have butter, we have a sweet onion. Remember the sweet onion, it is flat like, it's not round, but it's flat more flatter okay so that's how you know it's sweet onion if it's round it's not sweet onion just yellow onion we have salt and black pepper here this is my go-to cooking oil i use olive oil cooking oil we have bread crumbs okay so this is everything we're gonna need in here all right and we have a little milk here okay so i'll be back when this chicken has cooled off and we're going to prepare it up together so i'm back so now i have my chicken ready okay and this this chicken right here is going to be my chicken croquette now what i did with my chicken all i did is took it put it in a pan put a little water stuck it in the oven on 350 and it's, you know it's going to finish and be cooked by then okay so that's what I did with that. So what we're going to do with this here right here, we're going to go in because we want to taste it. And this is a uh, chicken, boneless chicken thigh meat. Okay. That's all it is. Just boneless chicken thigh meat. So what you're going to do, you're going to take it, do it like this here. Some of it I'm going to put in a dicer and things, but some of it I want to keep uh, a certain kind of way because... I want it, that mixture to go through there and I want to get it right. Now this is what we're going to, this is what we're going to be, chicken croquette. Okay, you're going to make it the same way as we did with the other one, with the shrimp. Okay, you're going to do it the same way. But this is just chicken that we're doing this way right here. All right. So I'm going to do some of it like this here, and then some of it, um, okay, you see the pieces here, you see your pieces right here, 
So they cut into small little pieces as much as we can get cut into small little pieces. Okay, and we're gonna make a rule for this here too. This is gonna be made for a rule and this is gonna have to go in the refrigerator and cool down. You can either put it in the freezer so it can cool quicker or you can put it in the refrigerator, either one. I've been practicing it on saying refrigerator instead of icebox because my favorite word was, is icebox. I, you know I'm going to say something complaining to that. Okay, so then I'm going to get me some. I'm going to put it here because I want it to be a different little kind of chop a little bit more. Some of it I want just a little bit more finer. So I'm going to put that in here just like this. Because it's going to chop it up a little bit more for me. Okay, so. Let me put this over here. Put that there. And see, I have I have the other piece in here. The chopped pieces. I just, not the chopped pieces. The, a whole piece like this. And I just broke some of it up. Put it in here. gonna chop this up a little bit more so we get it a little bit more chopped here see you can see the different ways on how it's chopped let me see here okay so this way turned out like this okay when I put it in a chopper I want that to go be mixed in there and then you have your pieces like this here that i cut up all right because i want some of these pieces to be like that mixed up in here for the croquette okay so because this is what's going to make it stick to a little bit better too while we're doing this here because you're going to have some pieces where you're going to have them pieces kind of a little big and and stuff like this here and then some of them it is going to be a little grindy uh but then you're going to be able to taste some of that meat up in there you know it's just you just you got to do things and uh to make it a little bit better for you so you can have a little bit more flavor into it and this right here since we're doing this like this uh i'm going to take and we're going to season this here on up uh, when I get it into the uh, get it into the skillet. When I start making my roux, I'm going to show y'all just how I'm doing it. But this is going to have to be chopped up just like this here. And I'll be back in a bit when I finish what I'm doing. And when I'm getting ready to start my roux, then you'll see just what I'm going to do for this here chicken. Okay? So... I'll be back, y'all. As you can see, I am cutting up my red bell pepper, okay? And I done taken this out, okay? So whoever don't know how to do this here, this is what I've done. I've cut that away from there. So I done cleaned this here up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this here. I'm going to put it in the chopper to get it the way I want it to be, okay? So this is, you you know, this is, this is for two meals today, okay? Two meals today, no, four meals, four things I'm fixing today, all right? So let me go ahead on and get this here together right here, and then I'll be back with you, all right? I'm gonna get this here chopped up, all right? And I'm gonna get my onion chopped up, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now we're gonna make the roux for the chicken croquette, all right? We're gonna get us three sticks of butter here, okay? We're going to get us some cilantro, put it in there. 
that looks like about three tablespoons of cilantro. That's what it looks like. Three tablespoons of cilantro. Why are you doing this here? If anyone, if you know how cilantro tastes and things, it's good. It's good. This is your red pepper. I mean, red bell pepper. I don't crush this all up. Two. That's a big one. I don't want that in there. Okay. So that's this up in there. So that's about four tablespoons of crushed. It's almost like crushed. It's almost look like crushed. It's not really chopped. But it looked like it have some big pieces in there. I don't want them in there. Okay. Let me see. Is this big? That's big. Okay. So. Then we're going to do some onion. Look like about four tablespoons of onion. All right. Okay, so now to start cooking. So now we're gonna let it go ahead on. Start cooking on up. Here. Gonna put me some salt in here. You don't want it too salty. Put me some black pepper in here while this is cooking up. I have to think about the meat. See, like that's about two tablespoons of black pepper here. And then we're gonna add us uh, some garlic powder. Let me see where my garlic powder at. What is this? That's ginger. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Minced garlic. Okay, let me see here. Garlic powder. Garlic salt. Let me see here. Garlic powder. Onion powder. What is this here? Garlic salt. Oh. Okay. Let me find my garlic powder. Okay. So I have my garlic powder. So we're going to put some garlic powder in here. Let this here come on do all like this here. Get it together. Let the seal cook like this. Let the seal kind of saute up some. Okay? That's what we doing. We just letting it saute up some. To where you can kind of see through everything. But you do want it to cook. cooking on up here because I don't have it I don't have them big I have them small I have it diced real small up in there because I don't want to be chewing on all this here okay so I can see through my onion right there okay so now we're gonna put up some flour It looks like about two tablespoons, three tablespoons of flour in there. All this is gone now. Uh, put us some milk in here. Put us some milk in here. Don't forget, uh, when you're doing your milk, you don't want this to be too thick. I mean, you don't want this to be too liquidy, okay? That's the last thing you want it to do, is to be too liquidy. You want it to be kind of thick, 
so it can uh so it can form with this here chicken so it can help this chicken to, to thicken up and this is gonna go i think i'm gonna put this here one on in the freezer so it can go head on and get cold okay you see how this here is see how this here is let me taste it mm, mm. i got a good taste to it all right okay so it's thickening up so you know it's gonna be just right for the chicken okay let me put me just a little bit more milk and if you find out it's too watery or you added too much milk then what you do you go in there and add you a little bit more flour to it if it feels like it got a little bit too thick on you then you go back in there and you add you some flour to it so it can be perfect okay i'm gonna put just a little bit more milk everybody watching how i'm doing this here right so you can see it. Because you want it not too thick, but you want it just right. You see it moving around up in there. Okay. So that's going to be perfect. Now we're going to put the chicken in there. Okay. Now we're going to mix the chicken up in there. Okay, mix the chicken on up in there with it. Now this is my second one I'm doing right here. Okay, and this is called chicken croquette. We're gonna take this here. We're going to let this here get cold so we can form it on up. See? See how it looks? See how it is? See how it looks? See? We didn't put too much of nothing in there. It just came out just right. Well, you can taste the chicken when you bite into it, which is going to be excellent. <coughs> now, I'm going to take this here. Put this on in a, put this on in something so it can go ahead and get cold, okay? And then about, about an hour. So if you put it in the freezer, you know it's going to do quicker. So I'm going to put it in the freezer so it can go ahead and cool on down so I can go and make what I need to make. Okay, now I'm back with the chicken croquette, okay? Now this is going to be the chicken croquette. We're going to take it. I just took it out of the ice, the refrigerator. Okay, take it. Put it in flour. You put it in the flour. Put it in the egg. Okay. Put it in the egg and then put it in the crumbs, the bread crumbs. Okay? Put it in the bread crumbs. Then you set it over here to the side. All right? So, and this is chicken croquette. Just like you have salmon croquette, this is chicken croquette. But, we, but our chicken is not like. We, 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 we have some chicken up in here, okay, where, where we can taste our chicken. So, we're going to put it in the flour. Now, if you put it in the flour, then put it in the egg. Okay, put it in the egg. Then, put it in the breadcrumb. All right, let's take it, stick it, put it in the breadcrumbs. All right, and put it over there to the side.
flower. Egg. Breadcrumbs. Then to the side. I'm going, let me put this in together a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to make one more because I got to put them in the skillet. There. And let them start cooking. Because it's only going to fit four. Period. So. These are my daughters right here. But I know I'm going to taste this here because I want to see how this here is going to taste too. Okay, do it like this. Put it in the egg. Then put it in the breadcrumbs. Okay. Then I'm going to take this here. Put this on over in the grease and let it start cooking. And I'll show you up in here the way it's looking. Okay, now this is the way the chicken is turning out. Okay, the chicken croquette is turning out like this here. Don't let it get too brown. Okay, this is how you want it to be. And then you're going to take it out. Okay, I just wanted to show you how it looked frying up there. All right. Okay, everyone. So this is my chicken croquette. And I just want you, I just want you to see this here, how it uh, turned out. It turned out so beautiful. I'm serious. It really, really did. It turned out so beautiful. I got to show it to you right here. Let me cut just a little piece right here and let you see. Look at that. Look at that. See that chicken? See that thick piece of chicken right there up in there? You see that? That chicken is thick. Mmm. 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 And it's good, too. It's good. Okay, again, I made two, this is my second dish that I made. The first one, and now this is my second one. Now I'm getting ready to show you my other two, and then I'm finished. And then I have my grand finale, okay? Bon appetit, baby. <laughs>